Oh, gee, what it do? There you go, man. The terrible narco himself. The rich trapper in South Carolina. <laughs> What's up with it? What's going on? See, always oh, on light work right there. That's light work, South Carolina. Light work, light work. What's up with it? What's going on, bro? How you? I'm chilling, bro. How you feeling? How you holding up, man? How you and your people doing? Are we good? We good. I'm ready to get out the house, though. I know you are, man. You, you don't seem like the type of dude that like to be locked up nowhere. Nah, <laughs> hell nah. <laughs> Yo, so this is the making plays combo, man. Really, this just we just gonna talk about the plays you've been making, what you're doing now, and what you're gonna do once all this is over. But um, you know, you, you had a lot going on. I remember when we first met. It was in the fall. You came through to the Pandora ATL office. And I appreciate you because you were shooting videos, you were recording, it, but you still came through and played with some fire music. And to find out it was from your album. You ain't played the cocky though. You held out yeah. cocky. You ain't played the cocky. I ain't gonna lie. Like uh, Carter, he was the one that made me put that on on the, on the album because I ain't really like that song at first. You ain't like cocky. That's like the my favorite song off the project. I know. Like everybody, everybody ended up liking that song. Like that and bang. But that was like one of the least favorite songs I like. Mm. But I ended up getting stunned on it once once I was like, I'm gonna put it on the album. But I ended up falling in love with the, with the song too. Yeah, you and Stunner killed that joint, man. Y'all yeah. killed. But I, I I was proud of you because the album dropped last month and began a month, and you was moving around like crazy. I, I seen you up in New York. You was hitting the radio stations and the and the blogs, and you was about to go on tour with Money Bag Yo. And all yeah. of playing Corona. You I'm know. saying that shit put that shit put a pause. I'm supposed to be on tour right now. Yeah. What was your first reaction when all that happened? I was kind of like, I ain't really understood it at first. I still really, I understand it, but I still don't really, like, I don't know. It was like, I was just kind of disappointed because we couldn't move around no more. Mm. Yeah, that shit put a real pause in my shit because I'm supposed to be shooting. I can't even shoot no videos right now. I really can't do that right now. Damn, bro. So, like, how, how have you been adjusting? Like, have you been listening to beats or... Or, you know, what's what's your day looking like now? Um, the same shit as yesterday. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, a nigga, like, not, like, really, honestly, I'm just ready for the, the stores or something to get back open. Like, we can't shop. We can't do nothing. Like, like I just put on clothes just to go sit outside for a minute, then come back in the house. Like, that shit be crazy. But I'm in L.A. right now, so I be trying to do stuff just to stay busy in some kind of way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At, least, at least you're in in LA, man. Have you been able to check on the people in South Carolina? Yeah, I'm going. I'm uh, I'm actually about to go back to South Carolina. Oh shit, man! Yeah. You gonna See. have you gonna have the plane all to yourself? Yeah, it'd it be nobody on there. Nobody in the airports. It's gonna nobody. be a ghost town, man. But yo, yeah. let's get back to your project, man. The joint was fire. Eleven songs. I think that was that was perfect. Not too many, but just enough. Um, and it really had that, that narco feel to it. I know exactly. that, that, that's what you was going for, right? Exactly. Yeah, I wanted everything like as far as on the project to have like that narco sound like like that Latin feel and shit like that from the from the beginning of the from the beginning to the end of it. So that was like my whole plan of it. The the joints I was definitely feeling we talked about cocky. I like the joint with you and Yo Gotti. You and Baby, obviously, and um, Murder for Hire, the first song, because you came in real hard with that. I'm big on, on the intro being tough. What songs were you feeling off the project? Um, I most definitely like, I like the, how I put the whole project together, honestly. Mm -hmm. I was some shit. I like how I put the whole project, because I really took my time with this one. Mm -hmm. And um, But, like, my favorite records will have to be, like, Cocky Now. Yeah. Um, shit. Bang, Murder for Hire. I like that all day record because that shit it put me in a different vibe. Like that. Um I really like all them shits, bro. What I did today, all them shit. What what what's the what's the people been feeling? What's the feedback been so far? They like the bang and the cocky. Mm -hmm. Murder for hire. All day. Um Yeah, like really everybody been stuck on that bang for real, for real. Plain Jane too though. That joint is tough. Yeah, somebody just commented playing Jane, man. Yeah, 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 nah, yeah. The project's tough, but we got we got to talk about the film that you made to go with it. You, you ain't even tell me about that when we first met up. What, what, who came up with that concept? 
Like I wrote the whole thing myself, and then I, I took it to the director, Fool, and I told him like I wanted to make a little short film to it. But we actually we got part two coming too. So, I was about to um, ask that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They on my ass about that, so we gotta hurry up and get that together. Yeah, because at the end it said to be continued. I ain't gonna do no spoiler alerts, man. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, did say yeah, so yeah. it's it's gonna be a series. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Did you um? Did you want to make it a short film or down the road are you gonna make it like a full length? Um, like I'm gonna probably like do like, right? Like I don't wrote like two most like parts to it, so I'm gonna just keep it going like as long as I can can think of it because like it's, it it did good, it did it did better than what I expected, so I'm gonna just keep I'm gonna keep it going. What was it? Was it hard filming it? Like, did you when you started doing the process? Did you realize? Well, damn, we got to get this, that, and the other, I ain't, you ain't realize all that, or was it like an easy, smooth process? No, nah, we actually, we took like, it took us like three days to film the whole thing, but it was like 12 hour days. Like we was, we was filming for 12 hours strong. Damn, why so long? Yeah. Cause like, I guess we had to do different scenes. Like, like you gotta think of it like, to, to shoot a music video that's three minutes long, that shit can take like up half a day. So really, we did good throughout those three days, just to be able to film all those like all those on um, scenes in just three days. But it was twelve hour days; it was long days. Like we'd get up probably like at nine or eight in the morning and not be finished till ten at night, something like that. So it'll be like a whole day. How, how you gonna take the second part up to the next level? Cause you you ended on a crazy note. Like I said, I ain't gonna give the the joint away. If you haven't seen it, you need to check my man out. In yeah. his in his acting, you know, film debut and whatnot, but but how you gonna make the next one even better? Man, it's crazy. Like, I'm gonna send you the script so you can see it. But like, I it got a whole big twist to it. Like, cause you know, at the end, like, actually, like we, I kind of was kind of disappointed one time because I watched Power. I'm a big fan of Power too. So you know, at the end when the dude killed, like when when Tyree killed his daddy. Yeah. We been, you know, that's the same thing happened on, on my yeah. on my yeah. shit. But we we been had shot that shit like eight months ago. So we didn't uh, even know that was gonna happen, but I was like, damn, once I seen it, it probably was gonna make it seem like this and that, but like on the second one, it's gonna be a whole twist to it. It's gonna be more like throughout the whole shit, it's gonna be more about like um legit. It's gonna be about him mostly just becoming the Carolina Narco mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Damn, how long that one is, is that one gonna be? Because the first one is like 17 minutes. Yeah, the first one like 17. So I'm gonna probably try to make this one a little longer because they wanted this one to be a little longer. So I'll probably make it like at least 35, 45 minutes. Okay, okay. But I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay yeah. consistent with it. I ain't gonna try to take too long with releasing it. So I'm gonna stay consistent with it. Now, is this something you've always wanted to do? Or is this just something you was like, man, we need to try this out? Nah, like I've been, I like I like doing shit like outside the box, like like shit that people really ain't been doing. Like they kind of fell back from it. So I was like, with my with me dropping my project, I want to drop a short film with it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. I was like, I'm gonna drop a short film. I want all my. I really planned this was this this project. I was like, I want all my videos to be like with some Carolina Knocko shit. <clears throat> I want like all the the beats on my album to sound a certain way. So. All it, it was like it was kind of like playing. I really want to do all this. <coughs> yeah, shout, and shout shout to your label, man. Shout out to South Coast and All Taylor and all them for allowing you to, sure. to be creative and, and like just do your vision. Because a lot of labels don't give the artists the freedom to do that. Exactly. Yeah, it's like a family over there. They let me do whatever the hell I want. Like, so it's <laughs> like for real, it, it'd be like love. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be where I'm at for sure. Facts. That's what's up right there, man. I got to say congratulations to you, too. Nominee for the 2020 Double XL freshman class. For sure, for sure, for sure. How'd you feel when you first found out, bro? Um, I felt good just to even be nominated for something like that. Like, I never thought I'd be nominated for, for, for any of that. So it go from the Double XL to, to the Grammys to everything. So it was like, it's real good. So make sure y'all go vote. Yeah. Yeah. Double XL shit, so let's go. When's the, when's the last day for voting? It's coming up soon, right? Oh, I ain't even sure. I have to ask somebody. Well, I will say this, man. Um, I mean, it's well-deserved. It's a very diverse and talented group 
this year, I think 2020 is going to be one of them classes that people remember. And the Carolinas is, is definitely represented. I mean, you got you, Stunners, up there for the nominee, Tusi, Renny Rucci. Now, of course, the baby was on it last year. What, what's going on in the Carolinas, man? Y'all seem to be on fire right now. Um, Carolina, we waited our time. Like, it being like so much talent, but it's just the timing right now. So, like, we're just going to make that shit happen. Like, it's cool to be from Carolina. You don't got to really act like you're from nowhere else. So, it's like, it, it, we been it like we been had talent and shit like that, but it's just like it's the timer right now. Baby done knocked down the door for North Carolina, and we gonna knock down the door for South Carolina. So it's just the timer. Like we been we we been waiting on this. Yeah, y'all y'all doing y'all thing, man. And again, I, I gotta give props to, to to your label because they're the ones that kind of brought all y'all together. And 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 Arnold really said, no, I'm gonna focus on on my backyard and signing artists out of Carolinas and bring them to the world. Yeah, when I first met Arnold Taylor, that's what, that's what he was saying. He was like, uh, he left his situation just to, like, to bring more attention to the Carolinas. And that's what he did, so I respect that. Back, so y'all doing y'all thing, man. I know um, you're big on giving back to your community. You do a lot with the schools as far as back to school drives, toy drives. Um, turkey drives and all that stuff. Is there anything that you're thinking about doing or your team is thinking about doing during this time? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Like, like we done been such on lockdown. It's like, that shit had me like, I can't really think of nothing to do. Not, 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 not like that, but it's right. like, you can't really go to the grocery Like, you can't do nothing to go to the grocery store. So if I did want to like go somewhere and get back, it's like, they won't even let you go nowhere. Because right. they don't want a lot of people around. But, you know, I'm big on giving back. So I think it's something like some kind of way to to do it. Yeah. So I, I know you're also big on... I'm okay, right, right, hey. huh? All right. Now I was on the phone, my fault. Oh, no, it's all good. I know you're also big on that 2K and stuff. You got to sure. since you got a little extra time. Who's ass you did bust it? Call some names it, out. Man, Everybody. <laughs> Like, I, I just played Stun on UFC yesterday. I made him throw the control on the ground. <laughs> um, like, my homeboys, uh, Count, uh, Dick, I've been beating Dicky. Uh, who else? Um, ain't nobody really want to see me in 2K. Anybody can really. <laughs> like, I got any amount of money. Like, whoever want to play me in 2K, we can play. We can get to it. Just. Get your money and let's let's make it happen. <laughs> you played anybody from the NBA? Cause you know a lot of them dudes is is, is playing it right now. They doing them tournaments. Nah, I ain't played nobody yet, but I'm I'm willing to. Who you want to call out right now? Any NBA player? Oh yeah, you see you see my homeboy Bayon right there. Yeah, I be busting his ass too. He put the cap on, but I be busting his ass up too. <laughs> you. <Don't> <laughs> <laughs> you also a big LeBron fan too, man. And I, I know we've been robbed of, of basketball in the NBA season. If if the season wasn't shut uh shut down short, do you think they would have won the championship? You know I'm gonna say LeBron. Come <laughs> on now. Over the over the Clippers though. Over the Clippers. And I and I fought with Kawhi, but I'm a LeBron fan to the death. And they I think they had the best record before it stopped, right? They did. They did. Okay. So yeah, LeBron. I think somebody I don't know how true this is. Somebody told me if they don't open, if they don't start the NBA back up, they just gonna go off like the record that they had, and let them whoever got the best record they gonna win the championship. You think that's fair? You think? I mean, you think that's a real tip though? I mean, I don't think so, but you know, that's just the rules. I I ain't made them. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, man. Facts. Well. Uh, I got. Uh, I'm gonna get you out of here on my um, on my quarantine questions and, and whatnot. These are questions that just pertain to the quarantine itself and the lockdown. So, what what's the best thing that you have watched so far since all this has happened? Um, Besides Carolina Narco, I actually watched this movie called um, I think it's called Outbreak, something like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, it's a movie on Netflix called um, Outbreak, and it's basically about the same shit that's going on right now. What what'd you think of it? It was crazy how they made a movie about something that was twenty. They made the movie twenty years ago, and it, and all that shit going on right now. So I'd be like, man, I don't know what type of games the government or whoever playing. Because like, how the hell you make a movie about this shit twenty years ago and now this shit happening now? So 
I don't know. I guess it all be playing, but that's a whole nother. <laughs> That's a whole nother subject. Yeah, that 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 kind of be spooky and whatnot. Um, <laughs> have you tried cooking any foods? Oh yeah, I get down. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I get me, you know what I'm saying? A little thing, thing. So she gonna know. Like, I cook <laughs> it up. I can do all kind of shit. Yeah, I kind of like cooking just to have fun with it. But it, it be coming out good though. What 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 dish you you be cooking? What's your specialty? Nah, I feel like nobody can cook a steak better than me. Oh, shit. That's for sure. That's hands down. But I jump on YouTube and Google any damn thing and figure out how to cook it, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that, that, that must be a, a South Carolina thing, man, because when I talked to Rennie earlier this week, she was like, oh, no, we cook. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Nah, that's, that, that's what's up, man. So, like, uh, my next one, what's the first thing you're doing when all this is over? I'm ready to go perform. Yeah. yeah. I got a studio at the crib, so we still be recording, but I'm ready to go perform, like, and go shopping. Like, I used to go to the mall, like, at least every other day. Like, I ain't been to the mall in, for, like, two, three months. <laughs> you ain't so went to I, online shopping, huh? Hey, and the shit's so crazy. Like, the people, like, my little people that I be buying this shit from, like, at the Dior store and shit, so that's how I know it's bad. They'll get the text and you, like. Um, if you need anything, just look online. We'll still send it to you. But it, it's different, like, when you want to just go straight there and see that shit, like, when you can really see it, like, and yeah. touch it and try it on, shit like that. So it's different. Facts, facts, facts. And what's what's the biggest thing that you've learned through this whole experience? Because I think it's made everybody just take a pause and, and, and sit down. What What's the biggest takeaway you've gotten so far? I guess appreciate just being able to go outside. And do what you want. <laughs> like, they got curfews, <laughs> all kind of shit. Like, this shit crazy. So, it's like, I guess just appreciating to be able to, like, do what you, like, at least, like, perform, all kind of shit. Like, that's what I really miss, just performing this shit right now. Like, and, like, I ain't really missing no money or nothing like that. It's like, I just miss performing and being able to connect with the people. And the shit just happened so, it happened so, so out of nowhere. Because as soon as I drop my album, it's like, you going on lockdown. Like, damn, how the hell? That's crazy. Yeah, I know you was working on your performance too, cause I, I, I saw you talking about like how you you had to realize you can't just go up there with the mic and, and spit your bars and whatnot. You actually have to perform, especially when you're doing these festivals and these paid shows. Exactly, like don't nobody want to see you walk on stage with the mic with your head down. Cause I used to be shy, like I walk around stage like with my head down performing the song. They want you to jump in crowd. They want you to throw water. They want you to do everything like give them a real show. So. How'd you, how'd you get over that, though? Shit, just, you know, like, just having that confidence. But yeah. it, it, everybody go through it, though. It's like, you got to, like, I don't know, because I'm, I'm I'm like that anyway. Like, I'm a shy person. Like, I don't want to say shy, but I'm, like, a laid-back yeah, like, yeah, person. Yeah. So, but it's like you got to transform when you come on that stage because that, that's what they want to see. That's what's up, my brother. And uh, last question, man. What What advice would you give to to artists or just people in general during this time when like all our lives have been adjusted. They, it, it, nothing's the same no more. I mean, just try to be creative. Just uh, stay at it. Like try to just keep going to the studio. Go Even if you got to get your in-house studio, go get your in-house studio, shoot videos and just be prepared for when they open the doors back up for us to go live our life. You'll have a lot of material and a lot of content to go ahead and just keep going out there to, to, to stay in the people's face. Facts, my brother, because when they open up them doors, we we running out them doors. I don't we think running out them doors, doors full out. speed. I'm talking about a thousand miles per hour. <laughs> For real, man. My brother, be safe out there, man. Safe travels when you go back to South Carolina and when you come back to ATL, we got to get up because I, I ain't get my narco pack. That's why I was upset. Nah, I got too. you. For sure, I got you. For sure, for sure. We we giving out a knock up pack. You're gonna be the first, the first person I put up on as soon as I get that hello. You're gonna be the first person I put up as soon as we. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try to make it to um Atlanta this week because I'm gonna All try right. to shoot the video out there and I'll get what you did. Hit me up, my brother. Be safe, man. All right, appreciate you. All right, homie. All right, gang.